Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, um, well, there is uh, today the release of the uh, update previews or the um, bug fixing updates for Windows 11 23H2. So if you don't go and do nothing, you won't get them and you won't see them as they are optional for now. And they'll install on October 8th with Patch Tuesday updates. So if you do go and check for updates, they will appear, and then you'll have the options to download and install. Funny thing that happened to me, um, it asked me before the install if I want to get the latest updates as soon as they're available and turn them on, which is kind of interesting. So uh, there was a little bubble saying, you can turn it on or off. Uh, do you want this or not? And you just, of course, answer. For most people, you answer no, but um, they were. Uh, it's the first time I see that pop up actually on an update. Uh, what does it do? Well, first of all, it doesn't fix a lot of things, and there's not a lot of changes. One is the changes that will be um, some of the local files that will appear in search results in the search box on the taskbar. Um, now, so uh, there will be a way to share the local files directly from here. Uh, there's, of course, a new dis a delivery optimization page. So uh, in Windows Updates, you have delivery optimization. Uh, that's kind of a place where you can play with the bandwidths and the different options uh, of your preferences for downloading updates. Um, this matches now what the overall look of Windows 11 design. There's a uh, they're removing um, um, a Windows share to update removes the search box from the Windows share window, um, and there's media controls now also on your um, lock screen. So if you have some media playing, so you have music playing and media player, an example and you're in the lock screen, the music continues to play, you'll have little controls where you can uh, stop, you can pause, you can go to the next song that will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. And uh, <clears throat> in terms of fixes, uh, it fixes one problem with Microsoft Edge, which uh, has a um, stops responding if you're using IE mode. Uh, there's a problem with the um, so when the Windows Identity Protection, which you know sometimes an app or even going on a website will prompt for a PIN or a um, biometric uh, way to get into the site, this will be less of a problem, including with, for example, Outlook and some other encrypted email apps uh, that will not prompt it every time. There's a new, in settings and account, you'll have a new Copilot Pro um, capability. So if you go here, they will ask you, do you want to go to Copilot Pro or not, and so on. And basically, that is the new way of trying to have you go to Copilot more advanced features. Once again, all of these features don't necessarily appear in, uh, in, in, in every computer, as this is not um, everyone seeing it right now. So if you don't see any of those things, uh, there's, uh, there's that. Uh, and finally, the task manager has been fixed from a issue. Um, when you were, you, if you're using high contrast mode, if you have some visual disabilities, uh, the task manager was freezing. So they fixed that. And that's pretty much it. So really not much in here in terms of, you know, fixes and so on. Um, if you use the WinVer command, well, that brings you to build 22631.4249. So 22631.4249. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.